So you've heard about SIM swapping and you wanna know what it is, why it matters and how to stop it. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna break down seven specific steps you can take to protect yourself from a SIM swap hack and go through specific services designed for just that purpose. So without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, what is SIM swapping? Let's get a definition on the table. SIM swapping is a type of identity theft where someone tricks your phone carrier into transferring your phone number to a SIM card that they control. There's a variety of ways to do this, but typically it involves gathering your personal information and then convincing the rep at the phone carrier that they are you. Additionally, there are scenarios where, you know, maybe there's an inside person at the phone carrier that takes a bribe. But once the hacker has access to your SIM card, they can receive your calls, your texts, your two-factor authentication codes that you use to access your bank accounts, your crypto wallets, your email, your social media, even, you know, password recovery texts, essentially anything that comes through your phone the hacker now has access to. And the scariest part is that it's fully remote. They don't need access to your physical phone because they convinced the carrier to swap the SIM into their phone. Really, it's just social engineering. They just need to either fool or bribe a rep at the company to get access to your SIM. And all of this can happen extremely quickly. You know, your phone number can be stolen in honestly just minutes without you ever knowing that it's happened until things have gone very wrong. In one instance, a hacker stole over $800,000 from a SIM swap. Others have used it to hijack accounts, steal unreleased music, breach entire companies. I mean, honestly, your, your phone number is often the master key to your entire digital life, which is why this particular video and taking some of these steps really matters and can end up saving you a ton of hassle because really a sim swap is just like a complete nightmare i mean similar to any other you know identity theft it's a really big deal so step one and this might come as a surprise don't use sms based two-factor authentication you probably know like two-factor authentication beneficial right if someone steals your password you don't want them to be able to get into your account you want to have that second factor enabled. At first, the only real way to do this was SMS, but now the technology has advanced, you're way better off not using text-based two-factor authentication. So what do you do instead? Well, when you use an app-based method like Google Authenticator, Authy, or 1Password, these apps generate time-based codes directly on your device. So there's no network transmission, nothing that can be intercepted by a potential hacker. So whenever you have the option to use a service like that, instead of receiving a text, it's going to be be far more secure, especially when it comes to preventing SIM swaps. That being said, not all websites allow you to use a two-factor authentication method like this. So you really just have to keep an eye out for whenever it is possible and default to that whenever you can. Step two is to use a password manager. If you reuse your passwords, if you use weak passwords, it's way the heck easier for somebody to SIM swap you. Because if a hacker gets into your number as well as, you know, just one old account that you have and figures out what your one password is, you're pretty much done. So password managers like 1Password, Bitwarden, Dashlane, I mean, there's a bunch of different password management services that you can choose from, but all of these are going to generate strong, unique passwords for each account and autofill only on legitimate sites, which is going to reduce any phishing risk, right? You don't want your password being inserted into a fake version of a website that's just designed to get your password so that they can hack you. A lot of these password management tools also offer encrypted two-factor authentication code storage, which just gives you a one-stop security hub for everything. That being said though, the more of your eggs that you do put in one basket, the more potentially you are exposed to risk factors. So just be mindful of where everything lives. Step three is to switch to a more secure phone carrier like Ifani. So if you are serious about avoiding SIM swaps and this is like a real concern for you, Ifani is a really interesting solution. Essentially, they offer an 11 layer authentication process before any account changes. So it's extremely cumbersome for somebody to try to impersonate you like they would with a traditional SIM swap. On top of that, Ifani also provides you with a $5 million insurance policy in the instance that you do actually get SIM swapped. So you're way more protected and there's insurance in case it actually does happen. They also require any verification to happen live with a real human employee rather than, you know, someone who's getting paid $10 an hour at a call center who potentially could be more easily socially engineered. They operate on AT&T's network as well, so you have full reliability of a nationwide network, but it's fully anonymous to AT&T. So if you were to go into the store, the rep isn't able to see your personal information 
only that you're an Afani user. So if, you know, somebody tried to bribe the AT&T employee to SIM swap you, that's not even an option because AT&T doesn't even know who you are. Specifically, something like Afani is going to appeal to you if you're, you know, a business owner, a crypto holder, or you just don't want to run the risk that you get SIM swapped. Afani's actually been a partner of mine for quite some time. So if you do want to give them a try, they have a $99 off coupon that I'll leave in the description below. For now, you. if you're not ready to go all in with a new phone carrier and try to Fani, step four is to freeze your number with your existing carrier. Now, most SIM swaps happen, right? When a hacker convinces your carrier to move your number to their SIM card. But what you're able to do is actually block that with something called a number lock or a pin. And here's how to do this at all the major carriers. With AT&T, you'll turn on something called wireless account lock in your My at and app, which stops number transfers entirely. If you're on Verizon, you're going to set a number transfer pin and essentially no port out is going to be allowed without that specific pin. Just important to make sure you're not reusing this across somewhere else that a potential SIM swapper could get access to. If you're on T-Mobile, you're going to enable what's called account takeover protection in your security settings, and that will function very similarly to the other two. So this is gonna make it way harder for a hacker or any kind of insider to transfer your number because you're adding additional friction to the process. Step five is to use alias emails for sensitive accounts. So a lot of people don't even know that these exist, but what hackers can often do is dig into your email history to reset passwords or gather information that they need in order to impersonate you and convince the phone carrier to swap your number onto their SIM. Now, instead of using your main Gmail account everywhere, you can use alias tools like simple login, Proton Mail aliases, or Fastmail masked email. And essentially what this is going to do is hide your real email address and limit the damage if one of your accounts gets breached because you're kind of spreading yourself across multiple different email addresses. From there, step six is to lock down your personal information because the less somebody knows about you, the more difficult it's going to be for them to SIM swap you. And a Princeton study actually found that SIM swaps succeeded in 39 of 50 test attempts, often just by using info that's found online. Now, a couple of ways to reduce your exposure and make it harder for somebody to gather information that they would need from you to SIM swap you online. Make your social media accounts private. Second, remove any phone numbers, addresses, and birthdays from your social media as well. Third, don't answer any about me quizzes that double as, you know, your password recovery questions, right? Like if you're answering an about me question about the name of your first pet, probably not the best thing to publicly have out there. And if someone can guess your mom's maiden name from Facebook, you're not secure. And if you want to take this a step further, step seven would be to monitor everything with a service like Aura. Because let's say a hacker still gets in after going through all these preparations, somebody really wants to SIM swap you and they get in. Then what happens? Well, a digital security platform like Aura is going to help you catch it faster because they're going to monitor SIM swaps, they're going to monitor data breaches, identity theft, watching any new accounts that get opened in your name, sending you real-time alerts whenever your info is exposed. It's basically like a security camera for your digital life, which is especially important for your finances or personal data that are tied to your phone. And they've actually partnered with me to allow you to try their service for free. So if you wanna do that, I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can see where your data has potentially been exposed and start to clean things up. One thing I want to mention is, you know, SIM swaps don't just happen to celebrities or CEOs. They happen to everyday people, right? People are getting their identity stolen every single day. And your phone number is often the first domino that kind of falls. So the more of these steps that you are able to take, the better you're going to secure yourself digitally. Get rid of that SMS two-factor authentication code that you're using. Set up a proper password manager. Lock down your phone. Clean up your personal info online. And if you want to take things to that next step, you can try out services like Afani and Aura. Got those links in the description if you do want to support the channel. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.